How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the Hoenn region, where I will be posting some Omega Ruby and Galha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle videos. The first match is going to be against my opponent, Flair, aka Ruins Way. You might recognize him because he battled me a lot in X and Y, but now we're here in the Hoenn region. So in this match, guys, I'm going to be using my in-game team, which they are not EV trained, but I have items. So we'll see how we do. Uh, you might recognize a new overlay there. I hope you all like it. All right, so starting off the match, I start off using Swamper and Swamper is going to go Mega, Mega Swamper. I actually don't like the design of it that much, but then I realized, okay, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> so here I go for Ice Punch. I saved up some battle points in the battle resort. I got Ice Punch on it to catch dragon types like Flygon and Salamence. But here, my opponent switches out and goes into his Pelipper, which I hope I get a chance to use in the future. So we'll see how we do. I switch into Manectric just for that typing matchup there. Electric versus Water. And I knew he was going to switch out into his Pikachu. But I didn't want to risk it, so I just went for that Bolt switch. Like, I knew he was going to switch. I thought he was going to switch into something different. Anyways, so you see that this is a cosplay Pikachu running the Icicle Crash move. And that's not going to affect my Swampert that much. Mega Swampert got a huge buff to his uh, defenses and that's a really good thing. Here I go for the hammer arm and that's going to do a good amount there to the Pelipper switching in here and this surf isn't even close to a 2 hit KO. Maybe a 3 hit KO. Not even close to that. Here I miss on the KO on that Pelipper. He goes for the fly attacking move there. Fly is a kind of an interesting move. You don't see that very often. But it's an in-game team match. Not a problem. And the reason you don't see that move in competitive play that much is because it's predictable. As you can see, my miracle dodges that attacking move relatively well there. And so here we get to finally finish off the... the Swana 2.0, I guess that's his nickname, but it's Pelipper. I go into Harry on my next, just because the fire type move is very evident against the Macargo, which I've never fought before. He goes for the fire type move, but not the way I expected him to. Uh, this is a thick fat Hariyama, not the guts variant. That's why the Lumberry is there. So now I question him going for a protector here. I think he was expecting me to go with a fighting type move or just see what I'm going to go for. And so I, I knew he was going to probably switch out into something that would take the fighting type move. So I went for the knockoff and that's not working out here because I get burned after that. I do lock off his rocky helmet and that is, I guess, okay. It's not really that important, but you know, I can take that. And so, despite me being burned, I am able to take out my cargo that easily. I don't know if it's because of my cargo's defenses being low, but I think that's the solution there. Now, here's where I have a difficult time in this battle. Mega Gallade. Now, Mega Gallade is not to be reckoned with. Not a force to be reckoned with. Whatever it's called. Whatever that phrase is called. Um, he goes for the sword stance, guys. And that is scary, but you know what? I have a scarf to swallow in the back of my pocket. So I am going to sacrifice Hariyama just so I can bring it in safely. Because I, I really don't have anything to switch into a psycho cut, really. I was close to switching on to swallow, expecting him to sword stance, but... You know, Psycho Cut is the obvious move too. So you see that I am faster. That's good news because I am Scarfed. And so we just clean out Kazuya, 
the the uh, the glade there, yeah. And so that's good. I take a little bit of recoil damage. That's the side effect of Brave Bird. Now my opponent knows that I am walking on Brave Bird. So he brings back in cosplay Pikachu. I go back into Megos to dodge the icicle crash or a thunderbolt. Whatever he has. In this case it's going to be the Icicle crash and that does nothing to my Megos. And so now he goes for the Thunder Wave and I'm not really sure why he did that. Uh, mainly because Megos is, I guess, slow. And it's Mega Farm, it's a little bit faster, so I don't know. I'm going to lower my speed anyway because I went for the Hammer Arm. And we finish off the Pikachu, so that's awesome. Flygon is another issue that I have going on here in this match, I really don't have an answer to him. He goes for the Tailwind, I don't see that on Flygon. I'm not really sure what he is going to be doing here. I went into Magic just to see what he's going to go for, and I'm just going to Armogo. So much switching in this match. I go into Armogo, uh, this is my offensive uh, Armogo. That means I'm not going to take Two earthquakes, really. If I put a lot more, uh, I guess, a little bit more defense EVs in there, I could probably take a couple of earthquakes, but not in this scenario. Uh, Flygon is going to take me out. In this sense, I'm going to bring back in Swamper and just catch him with an Ice Punch. I figured that I could take an earthquake at that level of HP, and I do. And because he's life orbed, he's losing health every turn. And that's going to help me out with that Ice Punch move. It is four times effective, so I don't know. His Tailwind fails to... Well, actually it ends, so never mind. It ends, and Melodic comes in. I figured, why not just put some damage on it? And it does a good amount there. That's amazing. So that means my Manectric is going to come back in and finish him off with a Thunderbolt. So that is a great match. What a way to start my Oris Wi-Fi battles. Thank you, Flair. Be sure to go check out his channel. I'll put it in the description. There will be another Wi-Fi battle on Saturday. Just be on the lookout for that. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time. Hope you all enjoyed. Bye now.